Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. If you've got questions about flood insurance, flood education, flood zone changes, elevation certificates, click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. You can also check out our daily flood education videos on our YouTube channel. Remember, we have an educational background on flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risk like this right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long term to help you minimize flood losses and flood premiums. Today we're talking about three reasons why dams break and what you can do to protect yourself. Number one is seepage or earthquakes can cause settlement issues that cause these dams to crack and fail. Number two is the design and construction materials just simply fail, causing the dam to fail. Number three is flooding just simply exceeds the dam and the level. So what can you do to protect yourself if one of these things does happen to you, if you live near by dam? You know, this is why having flood insurance in place is important. You know, whether you live behind an accredited dam or a non-accredited dam, having that flood insurance in place so if it does fail, where you can have protection, you, maybe you have additional living expenses if you have a private flood insurance policy. You know, these are all things that could help you recover much faster if you're impacted by a, a dam breaking. So. If you've got questions about what your flood insurance options are, if you're in an area where you think a dam could break or you're in an area where there is a dam, click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background in flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risk like this right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long-term. Thank you.